Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Hi, y'all. It is Sunday motivation. Oh, it's Sunday menu idea favorites. So today I'm doing uh, something. It's not really quick, but it's something simple. Yeah, it's a request. Old school butter beans. I know y'all know about this growing up. The butter beans, y'all. The first thing I'm going to do, I got four simple ingredients. Y'all know my recipes are very simple and easy. I got some smoked ham hocks here. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put them in the pot, and I'm going to got to let these ham hocks. Look at this, y'all. Look at these ham hocks. And they smoked. I already cut. There's a lot of them. I got them already off the bones. There shouldn't even be no bone in it. It is a few pieces of bone. Most of this is just 100% meat, y'all. But they need, it's only smoked, so I need to actually cook it off. I got some onions and celery. You know I'm not a celery fan. Only reason I'm a celery fan, if I cook the celery down where it's soft, so we're going to put the onion and celery in there. We're going to simmer this about an hour and a half, almost two hours. Then we're going to put the beans in there. But the thing, main aspect, I want to make a, a make a rich stock. So we're going to move over here to the pot here. And uh, we're going to put this in the pot. I'm going to put the... Uh, we're going to put the celery in there, the onion. We're going to fill it up with water. I'm going to add my chicken base to this and we're gonna let this simmer y'all for about an hour and a half and uh we're gonna come back after we come back y'all we're gonna uh, we're gonna add the beans to this i already the uh, the beans here i already uh washed them sometimes they have rocks in them and most time they don't we're gonna get this simmering here. And I ain't gonna add no salt and pepper, no nothing to this to right at the end. Because you know, sometimes the smoked ham hocks have salt in them. And I wanna make sure. My main focus is to make sure it's not too salty. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna step off here in just a second. I'm gonna fill this all the way up and put it on a really mean a medium ball. And just let them uh, ham hocks get tender. And when we come back here, I'm going to come back in the middle here, y'all, and let y'all know how it's doing. But my main focus is let them, them ham hocks get tender. Then add the beans to it. Because the beans are going to take maybe 45 minutes to cook, maybe 30 minutes. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back about a, maybe an hour. And we'll see how that's going. And we'll go to the next part. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Look at this, y'all. Hemp hawks is all tender for the beans. That's what you want. See that nice rich stock there? You can see the hemp hawk. These have no bones in them, y'all. So what it is, I only have to take these out. So I'm going to just put the butter beans in here with this. And later on, the beans got about 45 more minutes to cook. Once I put the beans in here, I'm going to put them in here. Just pour them in there with that. And they're gonna cook about 45 minutes when we come back when they're ready then i'll season it i ain't gonna put no more salt and pepper no nothing in it until after they done and i'm gonna let the meat continuously cook too in there with the beans i'm gonna just stir them every 15 minutes or so and uh that's just all flavor 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 see that y'all the onions and celery y'all got it like i like it it's, it's not crunchy perfectly cooked so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cover the pot back up and uh let these simmer here about it's gonna take about 30 45 minutes for these beans to cook we come back i have some cornbread ready we need some cornbread with it too so anyway y'all uh, we'll be back by 15 uh, about 30 45 minutes we'll be back all right y'all we back here with the beans check this out y'all look at that that's what the butter beans supposed to do look at that See how creamy makes that nice creamy uh, base there. Look at that. And they got about, I say they got about another 20 minutes to go. And I just want to show y'all the process. Ham hocks in there, perfectly cooked. And like I say, it's making its own thick broth, the natural butter bean broth. Look at that. That's the childhood there, y'all, growing up. And my mama could eat a whole pot of these. And we have these all the time. So, anyway, y'all, we'll be back about 15, 20 minutes. And we'll show you how it's going. So, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Beans is ready. Check that out, y'all. 
Check that out there. All I need is some cornbread, y'all, which I don't have right now. But you know I got my hot sauce. I got to put my hot sauce. And I didn't have to put no more salt and pepper with the with the chicken base and the ham hocks. It actually should be perfectly seasoned here. Let me see here. You know the, the ham hocks is per perfectly tender. And this is hot, y'all. Y'all know I like to burn the roof of my mouth. Hold on here. Hold on here, y'all. Let me give y'all a close-up of this one. All right. Here's the one. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Perfect, y'all. And y'all know that I love the ham hock. With the fat on it. If for you, Kenneth, I know you're watching. Kenneth Middleton, I know you're watching this one. It's for you. You know how me and you like it. That fat, Kenneth. That's for you, Kenneth. That's your bite. Oh, bro. That's what I'm saying. I need some cornbread. It's Sunday after church, y'all. Sunday after church eating. But anyway, y'all, another Sunday afternoon menu segment in the book. Hope you like this video. Please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media account Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and oldschoolsoulfood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Until next time. Have a blessed old school soul food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, blessed Sunday. Stay prayed up. See y'all later. Bye.